Okay, okay, for anyone who's clicked on the video expecting an adults-only smut fest, I've got some bad news for you. This is not a video about an awkward accident I had with my wife. It's better than that. It's a video about the human digestive system, and it might just save your life. So, you're tucking into a meal, maybe a succulent Chinese one, enjoying every tiny morsel. You're really hitting it off with your date when, all of a sudden, a piece of one of those tasty dumplings goes down the wrong hole. You've got two choices, cough and splutter everywhere, spitting a bit of chewed up dumpling in the face of what could be your future spouse, or do everything in your power to hold in that cough and act incredibly cool. Seems like an easy decision, right? But suppressing that choking sensation really isn't a good idea. For a start, where does the wrong hole lead to? Does that chunk of food still end up in your stomach? And if it doesn't, where exactly does it go? Plus, what are the chances it could cause you serious damage? I'm Stu, this is Debunked, and we're here to sort the truths from the myths and the facts from the misconceptions. So, swallowing seems easy, right? You chew for a bit, get that food down your throat and into your stomach. Job done. But it's a bit more complicated than you might think. Let's head back to the start of that hot date when things were looking good, when you first put that scrumptious dumpling into your mouth. In under one second, over 30 different muscles work together to get that food down to size before your tongue pushes it along and down your throat. And taking a look at the back of your mouth, it seems as though there's one huge pipe where everything is going. But looks can be deceiving. Following that chewed up morsel, we find that the throat actually splits into two pipes. One of these is the esophagus, otherwise known as the food pipe, which leads to the stomach. No prizes for guessing, that's the direction that tasty meal should be heading in. Thing is, even if your food takes the right exit on the throat highway, it can still cause some discomfort. This is usually an irritating feeling of fullness in your upper chest, maybe from a particularly bite you were trying to get down. So it's perfectly reasonable to think that that deadly dumpling from earlier is just going down the right hole the wrong way. However, this doesn't result in the frantic coughing, spluttering and choking we all associate when food or drink goes down the wrong hole. So let's head back up to that junction in the throat, because it's here where things can start to go wrong when you're eating. Remember that second pipe I mentioned earlier? Well, that's called the trachea, or as most people call it, the windpipe. And if we follow it all the way along, it leads straight to your lungs. Having two pipes with very different jobs seems like a bit of a health hazard. But thankfully, we have a protection mechanism that stops eating from being a dangerous gamble. The larynx, which most of us call the voice box, has a flap called the epiglottis. This moves to block off the trachea whenever we swallow, meaning food shouldn't be taking a wrong turn in your throat. And while the epiglottis does a great job of stopping the meals we eat ending up in your lungs, it doesn't always stop every single mouthful. When you're distracted, maybe you're talking at the table or not fully conscious, then the brain can struggle to get everything in position in time. All this means, you guessed it, food and drink end up going down the wrong pipe, a phenomenon known as aspiration. The results aren't exactly nice, as Dr. Clark Rosen, a professor at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine, explains. Immediately after you feel that something went down the wrong way, you feel like you can't breathe and your voice is really constricted or you have no voice at all. That's because everything has gone into restriction, shutdown, violation mode. And while that might all seem a bit terrifying, it's just your body trying to prevent additional problems. The epiglottis kicks into action and shuts off the windpipe as fast as possible to stop more food or drink heading down your airway. But what about that morsel of food that's already managed to sneak down your trachea? If that goes any further, you're going to be in a whole heap of trouble. But luckily, your body's got a solution for this. In otherwise healthy people, the presence of foreign material in the airway is extremely uncomfortable and will stimulate immediate gag and coughing reflexes. While it is uncomfortable, all that coughing serves an important purpose. It clears the material out of your trachea and into your esophagus, basically moving it from the wrong pipe to the right one. Once your body is happy that the airway is clear, everything goes back to normal. You'll stop coughing, you can breathe clearly, and speak again. Happy times. Except that isn't always the case. Sometimes all that violent coughing just isn't enough to dislodge the offending food or drink. And when that happens, your body is all out of answers. 
That troublesome mouthful just keeps on traveling all the way along the trachea and into your lungs. And that's where things can turn ugly for your health. You don't need to be an expert to know that having a lung full of pizza, soda, or dumplings isn't ideal. For a start, it can give you a chest infection, which might not sound particularly scary, but that infection is aspiration pneumonia. So if you have a coughing fit while eating and then start to develop chest pain or get a dry or phlegmy cough, then you might want to see a doctor. More severe symptoms might include difficulty breathing or a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius or over 100 degrees Fahrenheit if you prefer. Now, the good news is that the infection might just irritate your lungs and your doctor can treat it with a course of antibiotics. The bad news, aspiration pneumonia is way more common than you think, and it can be fatal. According to a 2015 study, approximately 10% of all people hospitalized with pneumonia get it through aspiration. Given that approximately 1 million adults are admitted to hospital every year with pneumonia in the US alone, it means 100,000 of those visits are likely caused by pesky bits of food or drink going down the wrong hole. Perhaps more terrifying are the results of a study published in the Journal of Hospital Medicine in 2013. Of 628 patients recorded in the study, all with aspiration pneumonia, an unbelievable 21% died within 30 days. Now, this might seem incredibly high, and it is, but that's because the average age of those patients was 77 years old. By the time most of us get to that age, food going down the wrong hole becomes far more common. This happens more frequently as we age, too, because our muscles don't react as quickly and our sensation isn't as good as it was when we were younger. Plus, many of the elderly patients in this study already had underlying medical conditions. Getting a lung infection simply puts additional pressure on their bodies, which they were sadly unable to handle. Nevertheless, if you think you have aspiration pneumonia, whatever your age, seek medical help as soon as you can. And even if it's not aspiration pneumonia, you could still find yourself in a very complicated situation when food goes down the wrong way. Because the lung is a warm and moist environment, it's a surprisingly fertile ground for seeds. You can see where this is going. So if you accidentally inhale one of them down into your lung and don't cough it back out, it can theoretically sprout in there, especially as seeds don't need light to germinate. Is this common? No. Has it happened? Yes. In 2010, 75-year-old Ron Schweden was admitted to hospital having difficulty breathing and with a severely infected lung. When the surgeon opened him up, he found a one and a quarter centimeter long pea seedling growing in there. Thankfully, it was a simple case of removing the pesky seedling and sending the man home to recover. So, whether you're eating popcorn in a cinema or peas in a restaurant, when something goes down the wrong hole, the worst thing you can do is stifle that cough for fear of embarrassment. You need to clear that airway to get hocking and hacking and get the food out of the wrong hole and into the right one, fast. Our next video will be released on December 23rd, and it will be available in the lower right-hand side of the screen. We're still finding our feet with Debunked, but we're planning to release a new video every month, and the more successful our videos become, the more time we can afford to dedicate to them. We have a Patreon page if you'd like to support us in this endeavor, and in doing so, become part of something great. Thanks for watching.